today I'm going to work with developing a custom quilting option for my Let's Go Fly a Kite quilt. I'm going to start by uh, going through the spaces that we have to fill and then design a special t uh, motif which I will then play with within the quilt. I started by importing a photograph of my finished quilt top and I resized it to 38 inches across which, which is the actual size um, of my quilt. So as I'm playing with quilting designs I'm now working with um, a true scale. Um, as I was looking through this quilt, um, I was realizing there are a lot of different spaces that gave me um, a variety of options. And I've sort of pre-selected those and I'm just going to uh, unhide them and uh, go through them. So the first one here is one of the actual kites. And if you go down here... Um, you can see that I've got another kite. Here I also have a triangle shape that can be filled in. Then I have the sashing or the narrow borders that, that go around the quilt. And this one um, could be a little bit of a problem, but it's sort of um, the wavy lines that um, are outlining or, you know, basically serving as sashing between the kites. Um, what makes it even a little bit more problematic is, is I've got two sizes of cuts in there, so it makes the shapes um, a little bit more unique. I've got the outer border, and I've got and turn on navigation button which I just press the N key for and I'm gonna go up here and I have um, basically the kite border which is the um, the the non background piece and then the other one is the background piece so you can see that there are a fair number of options or ideas in terms of playing with this. Now one of the things that I thought about as I was um, putting together some design possibilities is the fact that um, you know we could put a lot of kite tails and I decided to play with creating my own motif uh, using art and stitch so just so I can um, keep things straight from the master design I'm going to go ahead and set up a new page and for this page I'm going to turn on the grid and I'm going to start by just creating a kite tail I'm going to start by creating a curve. I think I'm going to use the uh, three-point arc for this one. And so one, two, three. And then I have the, um, the tail. So there's that. And I'm going to go down and basically finish off the tail there. And then I'm going to create um, the other half of the tail. And I'm going to then do an arc going the other direction. And I don't like the fact that this is sort of um, overlapping a bit, so I'm going to go ahead and um, just narrow that in a bit, so that um, my so it follows more the the curve of the um, of the motif. Now um, I also want to I'm going to go ahead and turn on snap to grid. And I'm going to make sure that my starting points and my ending points are um, aligned. I'm also going to make sure that um, my nodes in the center here are all lined up and maybe these ones as well. Okay, now I'm going to take the whole uh, motif and do a control C, control V to duplicate that. And I'm going to bring that over and line them up together. 
and I can use the reshape tool to um, and the T key on my computer to connect everything up. Now, if I want to actually turn this into a motif, the first thing I need to do is do a little bit of resizing. So I'm going to select um, the entire shape. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bring it down to um, maybe a couple of inches there. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply stitches. Now I'm going to turn off my guidelines because I don't really need them at the moment. And now I'm going to use the Stitch Edit tool and I'm going to drag a box over all of the uh, basically design. And then I'm going to select the tools Motif Pattern Editor, and I'm going to save the motif pattern. And once I click on Save, I can put a name on it. So I'm going to call this one uh, KKS um, Double Kite. And I'm going to do Save. Okay. Now I want to go back to my um, full kite quilt and one of the things I want to do is uh, fill in um, uh, one of these kites with um, with a motif fill. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. We know what we're going to do now and I'm going to take the line tool and I'm going to go ahead and outline the kite. And I'm just going to select the uh, three, and then I'm going to select the close shape. And um, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. And I think that's, you know, looks pretty good. So now I'm going to um, select the kite, and I'm going to select the motif fill. And I am going to, once it has filled in with its default pattern, I'm going to go ahead and navigate down to the KKS Double Kite. And I'm going to uh, go ahead and put in 75 and apply. And I'm going to change this to a, a darker thread. Um, and actually I'm going to go ahead and hide the backdrop just so we can see what we're doing. Now that is not necessarily very appealing but I'm going to go ahead and insert 25 percent in the offset and apply it and that in essence is going to alternate each of the rows. Now I couldn't have done 50% because I sort of did a double motif. If I had done just a single motif um, then I could have also done a 50% uh, offset and um, had the same, same effect. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this and one thing to remember as I'm doing this is is that these are stitches at this point so I uh, cannot adjust them in um, as I do regular artwork. For this uh, little wavy line going down here I'm going to go ahead and apply the kite motif to that um, but in order to do that I'm going to start by just um, drawing a very gentle curve and for this I'm just using the curve tool and I'm just clicking sort of midway between each of those points going down and um, you know going all the way down uh, basically at those midway points. Now I'm going to select um, that curve and again if I wanted to I could do some cleanup on that but I'm going to um, do the motif fill I'm going to go ahead and change that one to the um, KKS Double Kite and I'm going to I think try a 75 again on that and apply that. Now um, select Navigator and I'm going to zoom in and I think again the spacing on that looks um, pretty good. Everything seems to be pretty evenly balanced. If 
it was not. I could actually select the reshape tool, um, select the, um, the line, and the curved line basically shows up. And so I could, if I wanted to, you know, move some of my points over just a bit. And if I do the apply tool, it will then apply the motif to those new lines. So you can see that this is a very um, easy way to fill, you know, frankly, um, a problematic space. Um, with um, with a motif that um, that I designed. Now, one of the other things that I thought about was that I could use that same motif and fill in that green border um, that's here as well. And so again, I can just use the curve tool, and I am I'm trying for a very gentle curve, but one of the reasons I sort of like to do this um, this way is there's a little bit more randomness in it. I didn't make everything perfectly symmetrical. And frankly, I with this particular quilt, I like that. Um, so I'm going to just try to make those very even. And I'll do the Select tool, and I'll do the Motif Fill. And again, I'm going to navigate to the um, KKS, change the stitch length to 75, and apply that as well. And I can zoom in on that, and I think that's going to fill in very nicely. Thanks for watching. For additional tips and videos, please subscribe to my weekly newsletter at www.onpointquilter.com. The blog this week also includes some additional designs for finishing this Let's Go Fly a Kite quilt.